So good morning in Italy, good night in Canada. <laughs> and uh, here we are with Alfonso Tejada from uh, Canada. He is a Canada country community leader. Alfonso, please open your microphone and start uh, telling us about your country team. Well, thank you very much, Anna. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be again here with all of you virtually, but actually I, I think in the heart together with all of you, you know, who are here and the one who are just away, you know. Um, in Canada, we have, have, you know, just in the, in the last years, for the last four years, uh, we have had a, a team divided into three regions in Canada. Canada is quite a large country and we have had um, to create, you know, so two different central pieces, one in the center of Canada around Toronto, Ottawa, and the other one in the Far East, that's Quebec, Montreal, all the, the Canada and I in the West. So we had three large regions and we have artists from different associations and different groups. Uh, there's something very interesting that the, the leader from the central region, Ryan Tanley, uh, created a video that was intended to be for last year's presentation of the Fabiano and Acorello artists participating. But since the pandemic and, and the suspension of the exhibition, I think this video, although it was done last year, it still is effective because it's the same name in the same group of artists who participated. One other person who is very strongly participating in organizing this uh, event from Canada to Fabiano is Marie Anne Patino Alexander from Quebec, you know. She is also part of the team and we would like to, what I would like to do is to share with you a video in which we have the, the, the presentation done by, by uh, Ryan Tanley. And, and, and actually, um, I don't know, can you see something? Can you see the video? Hello? No, you, are, no, you have yeah. to share the screen. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, there's the screen, I can see. No, we can't see, okay. Yeah, you got it now, right? Yes, it's good. Okay, so this is basically the presentation that was made, you know, for, for, for our team. This always brings us great memories. <laughs> this is a group from the Eastern Canada participating in Fabiano.
Well, this has been um, now. I, I just how, how can I get back to the? Uh, click on the, the red button. Uh, uh, you, you should have something in, uh, red close to the green. Uh, it, it says stop the connection. Okay. Oh right, yeah. Well, you saw, um, I didn't know if I could talk with you in the presentation, but it was, it's very interesting that all these artists, it's incredible. Um, all these artists, I know personally, probably about 10 of them only. It's, it's not amazing that in Canada, you know, where we have all these artists from east to, to west, I only know personally 10 artists and some of them, they are basically, even the ones from this region, from the West, and they live in Victoria, they live in, in Calgary, and I don't, I don't know, I don't see that almost ever, you know? And, and it's, it's amazing, you know, with this group, you know, uh, we have, through the years, changing continuously, but there was something very interesting in one of the presentations that Didi, Didi, Didi and, and Raul did, is about you know the participation of the artists. You know what? Uh, rather than select the best all the time, I think we have 
the intention to create, given the opportunity to all levels of artists, because I, I, I really believe very strongly the, the line of thinking that was presented in that uh, interview between Didi and Raul, that it was quite relevant, that this is not a competition. This is not really to win a prize. This is participating and sharing and sharing to all levels. And I think that's been one of the, the strongest factors in, in the strain of Fabriano, you know, the sharing and not competing, not to having medals and not just everyone is equal, you know, as, as the spirit that we have as artists. And I think that's the most relevant. And I think all these artists so across Canada, they have that kind of feeling, you know, where they feel that they are well, their honor in one hand to be invited to participate in, in, as well, in the other hand, they really feel that very proud to share what they, what they can do. I wish many of them they could come to Fabriano, but only in Fabriano, in these groups, there's only maybe three or four that have been in Fabriano in the last um, eight years. It's not incredible. You know, so it's, I think the countries. Uh, being a part, you know, America and Europe, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to travel over, you know, and, and that's what makes perhaps Europe more compact and more connected than as we are here in, 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 in America. But I, anyway, as I said, with the feeling and the, and the, and the spirit, we are connected uh, all the time, all the way, all over the world. We believe. So, so, uh... Yes. Let me say something. Uh, the point is a very interesting one, but um, don't feel that like in Italy or in Europe, we know all, all of us, we know each other. For myself, for example, uh, it, it's very hard. It, um, uh, actually, our aim is not to um, involve our friend, rather to be so open to be able to invite those that um, we observe that we think are very good, that they are uh, very new, that they are very seriously in involving them, themselves in watercolor and later getting becoming friends with those people. In the years, it's uh, at least to me, but I think Didier and Giovanni and Letizia also had the same experience. In the years, in, in, in those 10, uh, 12 past years, I have met thousands of people, it's not possible to become friendly to everyone. It's impossible. But uh, from each of them, I think even something very little, very, very little, I have received that changed my life. Yes. And I, I think it is. It, it can be the same with you. So it is not possible. Canada is a very large region and um, a watercolor is very much practice, practice in Canada. It's impossible that you get to know all of them well before they are involved. Oh, so you, are, you did a great job, Alfonso. It's amazing how, how you could organize to uh, get get in touch with the free lands, with the, the free locations as, as you organize and to involve very many. And then, then doesn't matter if, if they don't take a flight and they come to Fabriano. You have done a job that anyway has enriched the international community because many of those artists that you just shows um, a few minutes ago, are great artists, and there is a lot, a lot to learn from them. Also, by watching at their paintings. No, it's true. You know, I, you're you're right, and, and I and I think you know, just uh, I hope in, in the in the coming years, uh, I might be able to have uh, the ability to really have, have a team, local team, to give me more more backing support. You know, I know that. The people in Toronto, the people in Quebec, they have their own uh, team and they work together. It's, it's, it's only a matter just of, for me to get more connected to, to a, a team, a local team that I can really you know, rely on you know, just to do more, more activities and all different kinds. You know, that's, 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 a, that's a good point. And I just say, like, I had to look into that. You know, and I, I, also, Alfonso, what we said should be a common task all over the world, because I think this, this is a need that all of us feel very strong, is to involve the new generations. Because yes. 
let's say that we have done our, jo our, our job for many years and we are getting old and maybe it's time that someone else does the job and we enjoy because it's time. No, it you're you're like right. I, <laughs> I, I begin to retire. I begin to think in retiring, you know, I was trying to retire from my profession about 11 years ago <laughs> and I keep working. And <laughs> now, now this time, you know, I really had to start thinking about what is next, you know, and seriously thinking retiring. But I just, you no, know, it, it is it is actually need for, for a group. And, I, you know, I don't know what it's like in Europe, but I think in everywhere else is the same problem. Uh, younger people, uh, perhaps in the, the people that I know, they're younger, they work at the university and also in the, in the College of Art. They have basically the interest in drawing, painting, but watercolor is not the main interest for them. It's a more exploratory in, in acrylics, oils, etching, uh, charcoal, drawing, ink, graphics. And, and actually uh, the people who practice more watercolor, believe it or not, they are middle-aged people who are professional into the arts. And actually also because of the paper or the paintings are expensive, not many people, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy, but this is basically the, the average people that we have in, in, in the groups, they are over 35, 40, you know, or 75 or 80, you know, that's, yeah. that's a range, you know, and the, the many of them, they are, they are not really in the, what you will call 100% artists. They basically, they have a profession and they paint. Others are really full-time artists. We have a very good group of full-time artists. And, and basically they are, they are in the 60s and the 50s. So it's, it's, it's actually, this is the, the kind of thing that I've been trying to find out. I look at the people from South America, uh, the, the school that, um, was it that um, what's his name? Uh, God. Vladimir. Yeah, Vladimir, yeah. The, yeah. the one that he does, you know, is, is quite interesting because he is creating an, an educational program with younger people. And that's basically the, the ideal condition for uh, creating the, the interest in, in the use of watercolor, you know, it's just uh, in, the, in the curriculum on the uh, fine art schools is actually is mostly focused on uh, media. The media is, is uh, etching, oils, acrylics, and actually uh, mixed media. That's, that's the, the, the focus, the 100%. And in, in the kind of art that is done is, is not representational, is mostly geometry. It, it's actually, this is, this is interesting because the influence of, of, the, of, of the European kind of art, you know, that is more uh, contemporary it, in, in America is, is tending to be a little bit, I don't want to call it of abstract because it's not even abstract. It's kind of geometric, uh, kind of uh, uh, volumetric uh, compositions. And, and actually young people are very much into that. And, and actually, I, I wonder, you know, what is the, the how was the ways to motivate all the younger people to paint watercolor? You see, that's a that's that's a challenge, Anna. You know, I don't know how you... I don't so. uh, myself, I think that is a matter of giving them the possibility to do research, and then who know what kind of road they will take to do, to do the research. Young people need to be innovative. Young people need to do what they have uh, something to do to do that they have not seen doing to the their fathers. But I want Didier to tell you what we have seen in China two years ago. Didier, tell, tell Alfonso what we saw in China. We were amazed. We couldn't believe. Yes. What do you see? Uh, we saw um, um, during a session, a plenary session, we have a lot of students, a lot of, of uh, young people who um, came from, uh, I don't know uh, the, the name, I can't remember, to, to paint with, uh, with us. And after that, we, we uh, visited uh, their art university. And uh, all, like you said, effectively, they, they learn uh, uh, acrylic, oil, architecture, etc. But uh, watercolor is uh, in um, 
big place for 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 them and but they are I don't I can't remember but uh, they one were or, a thousand thousand two, and two, thousand two thousand uh, five hundred <laughs> in the same room yeah. it, oh, it was not a room it was a uh, 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 all, <laughs> the all, and when we uh, arrived in, wow, two thousand five hundred young people who uh, are uh, painting uh, with watercolor. And, and you, uh, you know, Alfonso, you are an, you are a, an architect, right? You work in the field of architecture. And those uh, people from China, we were told that they have restarted to use watercolor and uh, the painting uh, to do to visualize the architectures uh, during the everyday job, the architect everyday job. Like you see, they come from many years using the three-dimensional software to do this job, and now they decided to stop and go back to the old way and restart to visualize by hand. It was. That's, that's yeah, beautiful. That's amazing, amazing. You know, the, I, I, I was trained, you know, in the old Beaux-Arts kind of school, architecture and, and, and fine arts. And I was very lucky for that because that created my interest in drawing and painting and gave me the facility as an architect. But actually, the new technology had created a completely, his murder, you know, the talent of many people to draw, you know, and, and, and paint. The computer has been becoming a, a program that you can do perfection, you know, without even thinking, without even working out how to do this right. The computer, you press a button, you just modify it, and you have a graphic product. And, and it's actually a lot of the new generation. I used to teach also in the School of Architecture. And, and actually, I was teaching for five years here in UBC in the School of Architecture. The first problem, some of the students did know how to draw. That was one problem. The second one, they basically, they, they were afraid to, put color because they, need, they do every black and white. Yeah. Then when the computers came in, they started doing, you know, kind of three-dimensional little models and with little color, it was better. And today, actually, the, 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 everyone, everyone uses the computer. And the fellow who can't do the thing by hand, he, oh, no, it takes you a lot of time to do that. Why don't you use a computer? You can do even better jobs. And the appreciation in the School of Architecture today, unfortunately, is basically, oh, that's a fantastic. It looks almost like a perfect building. Yes. And the, the, the chances to draw for the architects, now it's just going down. And this is very sad, you know, because, you know, that was one of the sources for a lot of people. All the old artists who paint watercolor, they have a background in graphics or, or architecture. You know, in, in our group, we have about three or four other architects who also paint, you know, but actually it's because they were trained to do that. And the new generation is not really much keen in, in doing that. So if this is, is, is a, in this media, you know, uh, it used to be the traditional way to do a presentation. That's what I did with my work when I was in the school, you know, many years ago. But actually, and it's still, you know, I feel that it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lack. On, on the new perception of what is essential for the droid. But, you know, it's, it, as you say, Anna, the new generations are looking, you know, and they have to explore and find it, you know. And I think the only thing we can do is provide the opportunity to see if, what we do with watercolor and, and try to promote watercolor as much as possible. And I, I think it's something that, yeah, I had, I had to think and put my head more into, into a way to understand how to put, actually how to train other people. See, that's, I used to teach uh, also and do workshops, you know, and the people who participate in this workshop, they were uh, mostly uh, women and they, they were in their, I would say 45 to 50. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, younger mothers and young people, they're too busy, <laughs> too busy to, to do things, you know, they had to be somebody who just basically has time to, to do that. And they do that as a hobby. So it's, we have, we have something to learn. I know there's a lot of uh, talented people and uh, I, ha I had to really keep searching and, and hopefully we might get every year. We, one thing that I have done in the, in the invitation for people to participate in Fabriano is every year to include a new group. I, I've been even trying to avoid to have 
the same artist twice or three times continuously because it becomes a repetitive thing and you don't give opportunity to others. So one of my rules has been that, you know, that across the country, we try to invite new artists every year, every year. This is very good, Alfonso. If you can do it, it's great. And also, you have done a big job with kids. Rem remember the people that you did. You did in Urbino, you did in, uh, in many other places. Well, yes. But you see, yeah, Europe, for me, Europe is perfect. I want to live in, in Europe. I want no. to live in Venice. <laughs> and, and, and actually, you know, yeah, I, I, I love, you know, the, 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 the Italian uh, atmosphere and, and the... And the artists, you know, I have met, you know, the all in Europe, they're just fantastic, you know, just something that I always, in my mind, just is basically, well, I'm here, but my mind is, is, is over there, you know, <laughs> particularly in Venice. <laughs> hey, look at this. I can show you this. Ah, oh, wow. Yes. Remember this? <laughs> <laughs> tell about it. Tell, tell the others about it. What yeah, happened? This is a fun, this, this, this. This shirt is is a is an special present that it was done to me uh, in Venice by Anna <laughs> because I was doing a demonstration and I had to walk about maybe uh, well five blocks carrying my my things and I was running so when I got to the to the demonstration my shirt it was completely sweat wet wet completely and I was sweating. So I, I tried to dry myself with a piece of paper because there were no towels or anything else like that. So uh, I was totally wet. So I said, well, no. So I took my shirt off and I was going to do my demonstration without my shirt. And Anna came <laughs> up and said, no, 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 Alfonso, here. This is a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. So wear it. So this is a, an incredible memory for me. <laughs> And it was, it was perfect. It was a chance that I found it with, with the name uh, Venice University. <laughs> yeah, so, so this one is very special. I only wear in very special occasions. I don't want to, I don't even want to watch that. Anna, Alfonso, sorry to, <laughs> but uh, we have only one minute. Maybe, yes. uh, Alfonso, it's time for you to, to say the... Goodbye and to close uh, your yes. presentation for well, all of I, us. I want to say one thing, you know, thank you very much, Didi, Anna, my, my great friend, you know, Giovanni and Leticia and the little and the little artists, you know. I, I love seeing how they cooking at home. I begin to learn that you're doing carbonara. <laughs> anyway, I, I love you, all of you, and thank you very much. You know, it's a great opportunity to have this short time, and I hope we'll see you soon again. And Thank you very much, and uh, hello to everyone in the world who is member of Fabriano. A big hug to everyone. Hug, Alfonso. Alfonso, hug. Okay. And England is going to start in one minute. Okay. okay. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>